Hi, hello students. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. Our lesson for today is factoring sum of two cubes. In our objective, find the factors of a sum of two cubes by using the math breaker map. For the first given example, I have here x cubed plus 8. When we say sum of two cubes, the given first and second terms are both perfect cube. For the first step is to get the cube root of the first term. That is, cube root of x cubed, because x cubed is the first term, that is equal to x. x is the cube root of x cubed. The second step is to get the cube root of the second term. The second term here is 8. That is, cube root of 8 is equal to 2. 2 is the cube root of 8. For the third step is to express as a sum of the terms from our answer in steps 1 and 2. That is, x plus 2. We have to represent the answer in step 1 and step 2 in addition. For step 4, get the product of our answer in steps 1 and 2, then change the sign to negative. We have to multiply x times 2, that is positive. Since the given is change the sign, we have to make it negative 2x. For the fifth step, square the answer in step 1, that is x squared is equal to x squared. The sixth step is to square the answer in step 2. That is 2 squared or 2 raised to 2, meaning to say you have to multiply twice by itself. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. That is 4. For the seventh step, express as a sum of the terms from our answer in steps 5, 4, and 6. We have to make it a expression. That is x squared minus 2x plus 4. That will become trinomial. Or that is the expression. For the last step, write the factored form as a product of our answer in steps 3 and 7. That is quantity x plus 2 times quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4. Just simply copy your answer from step 3 and 7. How can we check if our obtained factored form is correct or not? You have to multiply the quantity x plus 2 times quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4. The product should be, or the result should be equal to the given perfect cube. That is, or sum of two cubes, x cubed plus 8. Therefore, our answer or factored are correct. Let's have another example. I have here 27x cubed plus y cubed. Since this is perfect cube because 27 is perfect, and also y cubed, the coefficient here is 1. 1 is perfect cube. So now let's have step 1, get the cube root of the first term. That is, cube root of 27x cubed is equal to 3x because when you multiply 3x, uh, Three times it's by itself, that is 27x cubed. 3x is our cube root. For step 2, get the cube root of the second term. The second term here is y cubed. So that is cube root of y cubed, that is y. For the third step is to express as a sum of the terms from our answers in steps 1 and 2. That is 3x plus y. We have to represent addition, the answer in step 1 and step 2. For step 4, get the product of our answer in steps 1 and 2, then change the sign to negative. We have to multiply 3x times y, that is positive 3xy. Since the, the given is change the sign to negative, that will be negative 3xy. For the fifth step is square the answer in step 1. So that is 3x raised to 2 or square, meaning to say you have to multiply twice by itself. 3x squared, that is 3x 
times 3x will become 9x squared. For the sixth step is to square the answer in step 2. Up to square y, that is y squared. For the seventh step is to express as a sum of the terms from our answer in step 5, 4, and 6. We have to represent as expression that will become trinomial, that is 9x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. And for the last step, write the factored form as a product of our answer in steps 3 and 7. You have to copy the answer in step 3 and 7. That is quantity 3x plus y times quantity 9x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. How can we check if our obtained factored form is correct or not? When you multiply the quantity 3x plus y times 9x squared minus 3xy plus y squared, the result or the product should be equal to the given sum of two cubes. That is 27x cubed plus y cubed. Therefore, our answer or factored form is correct. Now, let's test your understanding. You are going to find the factors of the sum of two cubes by completing the steps. The given is x cubed plus 64. You only have 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Time's up. Let's check your answer. For step 1, that is x. For step 2, that is 4. For step 3, that is x plus 4. For step 4, that is negative 4x. For step 5, that is x squared. For step 6, that is 16. Step 7, that is x squared minus 4x plus 16. And the factored for or the last step, that is quantity x plus 4 times quantity x squared minus 4x plus 16. Did you get the answer? Okay, very good. Let's have another. The given is x raised to 6 plus 125 y cubed. 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Okay, thanks up. Let's check your answer. For step 1, that is x squared. Step 2, that is 5y. Step 3, that is x squared plus 5y. Step 4, negative 5x squared y. Step 5, that is x raised to 4. Step 6, that is 25y squared. Step 7 is x raised to 4 minus 5x squared y plus 25y squared. And for the factored form, quantity x squared plus 5y times quantity x raised to 4 minus 5x squared y plus 25y squared. Did you get the answer? Okay, very good. Now, I am happy that you learned how to find the factors of the sum of two cubes. Till next time.